Okay, here we have a Branson Benchmark ultrasonic aqueous cleaning system. Uh, this whole system is a six station ultrasonic cleaning system. Uh, and it also has a robot, the TDR 15 robot, that picks the baskets up and moves them from station to station and dips them into the tanks uh, for a set amount of time. Uh, the stations are, the first station is the, the loading station where you would slide a basket. here and then you trip the proximity sensor in the back. Uh, the second station is an ultrasonic, one of the two ultrasonic stations uh, and this station does not have the four-sided overflow system that the second one has uh, but it is heated and there's a circulation pump The heat engages the digital temperature controller, and then the Sonics button manually engages the ultrasonic system. And then underneath, this station has two filter housings, and they use the, uh, the sock style filter cartridge or filter bag. And then there is a pump underneath that does the recirculating. So that's the first wash station. The second one is almost identical to the first with the exception that it has the four-sided uh, overflow. So when you engage the pump, you can see it maintain this, this level here. And then you can also engage the, the Sonics manually. And it's also heated with the digital temperature controller. And then slightly different underneath in that it has a cartridge type filter instead of the dual sock type. And the recirculation pump is down below. The third tank, which is the fourth station, is the rinse and it's similar to the, to the second one with the four-sided overflow uh, and the pump and heat, but there's no ultrasonics on this one. And then there's the same cartridge filter and the circulation pump below. Next station is the dryer. Um, simple controls on the front, it's just auto or open. So in auto, it uses the TDR system or the PLC uh, back at the beginning to control it. But if we just want to look inside, you can open it up. And, and this has a drying blower along with heat. And then it also has an optional HEPA filter system with its own blower. And then the last station is just simply the unload station, which is just a, a table with a, a 
proximity switch that trips when the basket is set down after it finishes the whole process. So we'll just go back to the beginning and play with the controls a little bit. Alright, so under the first station we have the, the two ultrasonic controllers one for each ultrasonic tank. Uh, you can see when you turn one on, you can see the, the level come up there. And that's where you can control the intensity. Uh, and these are fixed 40,000 hertz units. The next unit up is the, is the robot controller. It's called the, the TDR controller. And that is where you program the robotic motion into uh, into this unit. So you use this this pendant controller and then you program in the motion uh, into these memory locations down there on the screen. So we'll just we'll just move it in push the manual button and then we can move the robot over. So when you go to make a program you'd move it and then hit the store button at the end of every movement. So we would hit store, then over, store, then up, and so on. And then you'd make a, a complete program. So we're going to home the robot and then run one of the uh, pre-programmed events that's already in here, which will take it out of, I believe, this last rinse tank and put it into the dryer. So to home it, we hit auto and then start, and that should go back home. So I'm running it back home right now. And it goes up, down, left, right a few times. And then back to home, and it hits all the way, and then backs off a little bit. And then we're at the beginning of all the programs. So I'm going to select down there program 5. And then we're going to run that. And then as part of the program to get the basket into the dryer, obviously the door has to open before the basket is over top. So that's already pre-programmed into the unit.
Okay, so we're just going to go over um, between the TDR controller and this user interface for the PLC. The couple ways you can operate this unit are that you can program in the entire motion with this pendant controller. You would pick it up at the first station, drop it in the second one, and then you would enter in while you were programming it how many seconds it would be in the first station, second, third, and so on. Um, then later, if you ever want to change the dwell on how long it's in those tanks, you just have to scroll through the steps here and change. You know, you would you would know at step 45 that was where the time was for here, and you would just change it from 60 seconds to 120. Um, what they did here with this controller is uh, with the PLC interface, you would enter the times up here and it's a little easier to do it here um, it just needs a, a little programming in order to get this PLC interface to connect to that so it just needs a little more work to get that connected but as of now it's fully functional by just using that unit down there um, you can run stuff manually up here you know if we go to the manual button we can turn the ultrasonics on so if we wanted to do that um, we can just turn it on the first one turn on the second one uh, we can open the cover from over here um, we can turn the blower on inside inside the dryer, you turn the heat on inside the dryer. You can turn the HEPA filter on. It's the, the second blower. And then if we change the all these back to auto auto okay everything should be now if we go to this is where when you click the add basket button it starts the ultrasonics for the desired amount of time this program in here. And I just have 10 seconds. And there it shuts off after 10 seconds. And same thing with tank two. I believe that's also 10 seconds. So you can hear that one kick on for 10 seconds. So that's a basic overview of the whole system. Um, like I said, it's it's usable right now by programming in the robotic motions with that unit down below. Um, and then you would probably just turn the ultrasonics on at the beginning and turn the blower on at the beginning and it would run through all the cycles.